Hey guys, BX Bricks back with part 5 of our G2 Micro Devastator. Today we got for you Bone Crusher. Let's check him out. Bone Crusher. I feel like he is the bulldozer of the bunch, maybe? Check out his treads right there. I really like his vehicle mode. I'm like, definitely in love with it. I mean, maybe it's because we got the arms pointing to the back this time, but I don't know. I mean, he's like super cool. Shows more purple in vehicle mode than most of the other ones also. So, for articulation in this mode, it's like Scrapper. Let's go up and down right here. The bucket. Um, nothing else really moves. Now, for this, um, I do have a slightly personal modified piece there this is from like this gray piece right there is from like a lance from probably over 20 years ago when they were riding horses and all sorts of stuff I just kind of chopped it because I didn't have a you know the like a lightsaber size stick but that's what you would put there if you wanted to build this it would fit perfectly there but I just didn't have it so an LDD lightsaber stick right here in the video like Lance from 20 years ago. <laughs> so, the transformation. Um, just gonna flip this up. And what are we gonna do next? Oh, you can see his arm port down there. I don't know why that's pointed out that way. But, um, we're gonna take these legs and put them out at the waist. Like so, let me zoom out a little bit. You can see everything. And then what I want to do is rotate them at the waist. Let's put that up. Rotate them at the waist. Like so. And then we're going to take his feet right here and just flip them out. Take the feet. Flip them out. So kind of see how he stands just like that so we take the arms and we're gonna fold these out to where we could uh, hold on, give me just one second oh this is kind of like doing a push-up <laughs> so we want to take these arms rotate them slightly just so that they'll be facing the right way in robot mode. And take the hands, flip them out. Flip them out, flip them out. So this part right here, back canopy, we're going to rotate backwards. i flip open the chest right here, just so that we can get his head out right here. Just push that through. And if we can fold back. And flip the head out. Like so. I'm gonna show you guys to see that. Then we can take this part, bring it back up to his chest, rotate his arms. And at the elbow. Oh my god, we had something finally fall apart. It took five videos, but it finally happened. <laughs> Everything is brand new pieces, so they are really tight and on stud friction. So we got a lot of factors working against us, but we got them. So this part can pretty much fold back. Well, that's as back as that goes. So. <laughs> I don't know how, but I originally had the, this part, which is the chest and, you know, the actual toy. It was back here, but I don't know what happened, but it actually worked out to where it transforms just like the actual toy. That's cool. I like that. Get some repro stickers and make that all robot-like or something. But, um, you know, very poseable. He has the knees right there. If I'm not mistaken, this might be the guy that I have on my mock pages 
with the, the diagram. It's kind of like all bent over and shows you all the articulation. But I feel like this was definitely back there. So it might have been put in I don't know. Go check out my mock pages and <laughs> let me know if I'm bugging out or not. But um, I, I love the articulation of this guy. It's a lot more sturdier than uh, most of the constructor cons because of the knee. Um, and remember before we said we were going to put foot articulation? Now we have that. Bends at the, the ankle, foot swivel all day. So you could put them in a ton of cool poses. Very cool poses. So there we got Bone Crusher. Let's give him a final spin. Should put maybe another sticker there, but I got one inside the bucket. I feel like it just be kind of a waste to do that. Why is he so far away? Let's pick it up. And zoom in. That little port right there is for the bottom arm to connect to. No, actually to connect to the shoulder of hook. And then we have the arm part. Kind of like to the crotch area. And if I'm not mistaken, Bone Crusher is the left arm. So this would be the left arm for Bone Crusher. Just kind of plug in somewhere over there. And look like this. Should be really cool. I can't wait to show you guys the pictures for Devastator, like the actual Devastator, not just the LDD. So, this is BX Bricks. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. You know, I, I love doing these videos. This is part 5 of G2 Micro Devastator. And stay tuned for the last robot that we got. Um, it's going to be part 6 and then part 7 for the combination. See you guys later. Peace.